When the Night Comes Out presents Jump Scares. Today's bite-sized horror is entitled Last. Written by Brian W. Alaspa. Narrated and produced by Ali James. He was tired. Of course, he had been tired for such a long time now. What real difference did it make that he was 99 years old on top of everything else? Still, it was a nice day. It was the best day, really, because he knew it would be his last day. The last day for everyone, really. Still, the sun was out and the sun was shining, It was as good a day as any for the human race to end. What had caused it? Did it really matter now? Did anything really matter? He had his little house in the country, and the rest of the world had long since reclaimed the big cities and the towns and the everything else that had once indicated that this planet was inhabited. It had been inhabited by angry, bitter, selfish people— People who, one day, suddenly could not have babies anymore. Lots of scientists spent a lot of time trying to figure out why it happened. To Charlie, it didn't really matter. Not today. Radiation. That was a word that had been thrown around a lot. Maybe radiation from space with the loss of the ozone layer or something. Maybe it was the increased pollution in the air. Terrorism. That was another word that got thrown around a lot. It was thought that some nut had released some sort of toxin into the air that caused humanity to go sterile and barren. Again, to Charlie, on this day, as he headed out into the blinding sun and the dazzling heat, it really didn't matter. He didn't think he would be the last one. Once the scientists stopped their babbling and their frantic searches for cures— The realization that humanity was on the way out settled in. People prayed and people rioted. Then again, people always did those things. The fact was that humanity had just run its course. At least, that was what Charlie said to himself all of those years. He lived in the country. All around him was rural Pennsylvania, and he had his nicely trimmed lawn, his clean house, and he was happy. He had never had much use for television, and when the broadcasts got more and more hysterical as the population got, at first, older, and then smaller and smaller, he stopped watching. There was still one channel out of Chicago that still ran. It was some computerized thing that just kept showing the same old rerun shows again and again. Online, there were still radio stations that were set up and still playing music to people who no longer cared. Charlie guessed that they would just keep running until they broke down entirely, or the world finally blew to pieces. He hiked up to the hill that overlooked his land. He sighed. He was winded, and he coughed for a while. He sat down beneath a tree and soaked in the world around him. He could hear animals somewhere, marching through the woods. He guessed there might be a bear, but probably just deer and maybe a coyote or two. They would leave him alone until he was gone, he figured. His heart. It was hammering in his chest. It hurt sometimes, and he knew it was fluttering in a way that could only mean that it was about to stop. He smiled. He could think of no better place to be when it happened. He listened to the wind. He had been alone for years now. His wife had died about ten years back. His friends had died out not long after. He wondered, was he really the last? He thought so, but he supposed there could be some guy somewhere on the other side of the world. The trees were more lush than they had been in his youth. The lack of pollution did that. The animals had come back to places where they had been gone for decades. The lack of people did that. It was all right as far as Charlie was concerned. He sighed. He grimaced when he took a breath, and it hurt. Lord, he was tired. So tired. He looked around, and the sun began to set. The wind blew what remained of his hair. 
he eased his head back against the tree. He was warm and he was happy, but he was tired. He closed his eyes. Thanks for listening to When the Night Comes Out, Jump Scares. Be sure to like, share, and review. You can binge our first two seasons of full-length stories now. Until next time, try to stay safe when the night comes out. Hey guys, we appreciate your continued support, but we also would like to create a community around When the Night Comes Out. A community of horror fiction fans who support us so we can bring you even more stories, more scares, expand what we offer, and maybe even podcast merch. So be sure to visit patreon.com slash when the night comes out and become a supporter. Every amount helps. We'll see you next time, When the Night Comes Out.